Tunataka maendeleo bana. So the issue is that uh, we have just uh, come from uh, uh, Kibra. We have been to Sarangombe Kamkunji grounds uh, where we were accosted by rowdy mobs and uh, it was just a small segment of uh, people who are obviously commissioned by someone uh, to disrupt uh, a properly constituted uh, a campaign rally for Mwishimiwa Eliud uh, Oalo and um, our party leader Mwishimiwa Msalia Mudavadi. We want to send a very strong and direct plea to IBC that they must start taking these issues of violence in Kibera with the seriousness that uh, it deserves. Previously, other candidates have been accosted there by one party that is uh, ODM, which does not seem to have any other formula to political office apart from uh, unbridled violence. And we had thought that uh, in this day and age when some people are saying that uh, they are now spreading peace, a message of peace, when some people are saying that no Kenyan should bleed again, that they would advise themselves and their followers that they will refrain from violence during uh, political campaigns. Even now, as we say that we are waiting for a BBI report, and it's a BBI report that is supposed to be addressing, among other things, election-related violence, one would expect that uh, they would already have started conducting themselves in a manner that can give us hope. Each and every political party and their respective candidates have got an in inalienable right to campaign in any part of Kibra constituency, having met the requirements as stipulated by IEBC. To me, we can no longer have political enclaves where certain political parties feel that certain sections of this country belong to them exclusively. We have all as candidates signed the code of conduct, committing ourselves yeah, to peaceful campaigns. And I would plead with the ODM party to stop using retrogressive politics where you feel that by meeting violence on your opponents, it will give you a leeway into a political office which you don't deserve. As a Amani National Congress, our philosophy is peace. Mm. And we are committing ourselves to that for the rest of the campaign. Mm. But in the same vein, I want to appeal to the IEBC to act decisively on election violence. It is not the first instance of violence that has been raised in Kibra, yet we are not seeing any meaningful action being taken. We once more appeal to the IEBC to take advantage of this Kibra by elections to show Kenyans that they can conduct a peaceful, credible and objectively verifiable ca campaign election. The NC had received the note from IBC to conduct uh, its campaign and its rally in Kamkunji. So we were there legally uh, as per the IBC mandate and uh, since morning there were reports that uh, there were plans to disrupt our rally and to hurt our supporters and those reports were filed by the to the IBC and the police and we hoped that they will take action. Now it is regrettable that uh, when we go into the ground there were a lot of stone throwing and a lot of people have been hurt. Tear gases were thrown from not policemen but from supporters of an opponent party. We still don't know how they got got hold of those uh, tear gas to throw at us and the vehicles have been damaged. Now we want to say that uh, we want an election on, uh, that is free, fair and transparent. Free of violence, free of intimidation and we want every Kenyan who is in Kibra to exercise their right without any intimidation. Therefore I'm calling upon IBC uh, to please take decisive action against the party that is sponsoring violence in Kibra. And the party that is sponsoring violence in Kibra is known as ODM. The supporters of ODM have even followed us with the t-shirts and come to disrupt us as we move along the way. And we have been constrained. Our supporters have been constrained into responding and I want to thank them for not responding. The barbaric act that has happened today in the democracy of Kibera because of what 
our rivals, the ODM, did to us. We had permission, we had notified the police of our rally, and we had everything in place. We had our tents, we had our sound system at the Bukhungu uh, grounds. Up until 10 o'clock, everything was in place for us. Only for us to find out that the party leader, the party leader, none other, none other than Railo Molodinga, being invited to come to our rally, whereas they had a rally in Lainisaba to come and disrupt our rally. We have had casualties, we had had our, our fans being uh, uh, injured, and therefore we are very, very uh, upset with what, ha what has happened because we, we did not have our party leader at the grounds. We only had our candidate and myself and of course the Nairobi team. So that there was no need of Moshimiwa Railo Dinga to come to the, to the Bukungu Stadium only to disrupt our rally within 30 minutes or even less, he has already left. So we feel very, very disadvantaged with that and we want to condemn with the strongest term possible having injured some of our members for nothing, yet they had a rally in a different world. If that is what democracy is all about in Kibra elections, then we are afraid ODM is going to lose in the morning. Uh, today we had organized a rally in uh, Bukhungu, and uh, the rally was well placed within the uh, security system plus IBC. But our friends from ODM, and uh, particularly led by Raila Molodinga, uh, they came to our meeting and disrupted our meeting. Uh, we've had so many casualties, the way my brother said, and uh, we had to call off the meeting because uh, we were attending to the casualties that, uh, that had, had uh, occurred in, uh, in the in Bukongo Stadium. Therefore, I would want to say that uh, uh, democracy has, has been buried today because before then we've been having meetings, we've been having rallies in Kibra, and none has ever been uh, disturbed or disrupted until Moshimarelo Odinga uh, made his entry into Kibera. And we want to say that uh, uh, as much as they try to muzzle uh, the other candidates, and particularly our, our candidate, we are strong, and I would want to wish uh, to tell my supporters that we shall continue our campaigning, and nobody is going to dampen our spirits. All our, all our supporters, wherever they are, they should know that victory is on the way, and whenever somebody senses that uh, is being defeated, that's the time they start organizing uh, violence. Violence has been a, a thing of the past. I think as far as I remember, the last violence in election we had in Kibra, especially amongst the candidates in Kibra, was uh, before 2013. We've had a, a relatively uh, peaceful environment until today's meeting when we were having our meeting and ODM plus their party leader invaded our meeting. And I would want to say that IBC should take immediate steps plus the police to arrest the situation because for the coming days that we are going in, they are going to be difficult days. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that uh, when we are campaigning peacefully, uh, we are cowards. We are not cowards. It's only that we want to maintain peace because we have our families, we have our friends who stay in Kibra. We don't want to cause violence. And we will not allow because the, the situation we've seen today is that most of the people who came to Kibra to, 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 to orchestrate violence, they are not from Kibra. They are not boys from Kibra. We've seen them, and we know they don't stay in Kibra, they don't live in Kibra. So we would want to, wish, to, to tell our, the opponents, and particularly ODM, that uh, we are not ready for imported violence. Our youth are peaceful in Kibra, and they maintain peace. We would want to not, them to import violence from elsewhere to Kibra.